This is Twit. So, uh, has the NSA hacked Huawei? And the answer is, well, uh, yeah, back in 2009. What's weird is that last Tuesday, China's Ministry of State Security published an extremely rare, you know, as in extremely as in the first time ever, official statement on its WeChat account. It formally accused the U.S. National Security Agency of hacking and maintaining access to servers at Huawei's headquarters since 2009. Now, okay, what's interesting is not that this is news, it's that it's not news. So I'm mentioning this because this reflects a relatively sudden change in stance for China, and it suggests that this might just be the beginning. The question is, the beginning of what? Both the New York Times and Der Spiegel originally reported this, back in 2014, based upon documents from the Snowden links, which disclosed a program called Shot Giant, which was an NSA operation to compromise, to compromise Huawei's network for the, um, uh, for the purpose of finding links which existed between, or they thought might exist, between Huawei and the Chinese PLA to learn Huawei's internal corporate structure and also to identify ways to exploit Huawei's equipment, which at the time was being widely adopted in both the U.S. Uh, and by our allies and adversaries. So this is the first time the Chinese government has ever publicly confirmed the NSA's Huawei hack, and they posted it on their WeChat channel. So sort of seems more political than not. The Chinese Ministry of State Security statement didn't go into any technical details about the actual hacking. You know, like they apparently didn't know any more than we've all known since 2014. It just recycled information that was published by the New York Times and Der Spiegel and the Snowden leaks. It does, however, spend a lot of time accusing the U.S. of using, and believe it or not, I'm quoting this, quote, the despicable tactics of the matrix to maintain a cyber hegemony. So to that end, Chinese officials claim that the U.S. is doing all of the intellectual property stealing and then using its allies and PR machine to hype, exaggerate, and smear China on, quote, Chinese cyber secret stealing issue, unquote. So uh, a, a cyber threat analyst at the Taiwan-based security firm uh, Team T5 was quoted saying, quote, considering the close relationship between China's cybersecurity firms and the Chinese government, our team surmises that these reports could be part of Chinese, I'm sorry, of China's strategic distraction when they're accused of massive surveillance systems and espionage operations. So, you know, there have been other, there, there, there have been several other recent reports of NSA penetration into China's space, uh, you know, in, in, into their networks. And I suppose none of us assumed that the cyber intrusions were all going one way, you know, like that there was no pushback against, you know, China's mm -hmm. much publicized intrusions into the U.S. You know, we have an NSA and all of those people dressed in camo must be up to something. So it seems as though the Chinese government may have changed their policy rather than pretending to be invulnerable. They've decided that the better strategy is to acknowledge that the U S is also intruding into Chinese affairs. This might also be a reaction to China's very high profile and heavily publicized intrusion into Microsoft recently and their uh. exploitation of their access uh, to, uh, of their access to enterprise email. Uh, but th there does appear to be a difference. The evidence we have suggests that when we get into their networks, we just snoop around to gather intelligence. When we get wh when they get into our networks, proactive damage results. So, I mean, it's not just <laughs> espionage. It's attacks. Um, as we Heck, recently depends saw on who you ask, that's either way is still an attack. Yeah, <laughs> it's. It, it, just because yeah. I didn't come in there and break something that still doesn't say that 
that I'm oh no, less, they're less cer- wrong. They're, than they're you. certainly not happy to have the <laughs> NSA, you know, uh, uh, establishing a persistent presence in in within their their country's uh, internal private networks. Um, as we recently saw, that Chinese attack on Microsoft took a great deal of effort. You know, that demonstrated that they have some serious cyber skills. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI Learning is here to support your team's advancement in IT and cybersecurity. Get fully customizable training tailored to your team's needs. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form. 